Every day, Mac computers are getting better and better at gaming. With the Apple Game Porting Toolkit, DX12 games, games that require AVX2, and a whole bunch of never-before-playable AAA games all now work on Mac. But what about older 32-bit games? Mac OS dropped native support for them years ago. And apps like Crossover often have trouble running 32-bit games. That's where virtual machines like VMware Fusion Pro and Parallels 20 come in. These apps allow you to run Windows in a virtual machine right on macOS. Running Windows with VMware will allow us to play tons of 32-bit games that would otherwise be unplayable on Mac. Games like Batman Origins, Hotline Miami, Far Cry 4, and Persona 5 Strikers all run great using VMware. In this video, we'll take a look at how to get VMware Fusion up and running on Apple Silicon Macs. Let's check it out. Alright, so there are two things we need to do to get VMware Fusion up and running. The first is we need to make a Broadcom account. The easiest way to do that is to copy the link directly from the description of this video and then paste it into your browser search bar. Once on the registration page for Broadcom, we're going to enter an email address and fill in the CAPTCHA. Check your chosen email and enter the verification code that you've been sent. Next, we're going to complete the registration form. We'll put in a first name, a last name, a country, and a password. I love cats. Once we've registered successfully, we can click I'll do it later and we're good to go. Now that we have our Broadcom account set up, we can download VMware Fusion. I recommend going to the description of this video and clicking the VMware Fusion download link, but you can also go to the Broadcom website, click on software, VMware Cloud Foundation, my downloads. Scroll down a little bit to VMware Fusion and select the latest VMware Fusion for personal use. As of recording this video, 13.6 is the latest release, so let's download that one. Once you're on the download page, agree to the terms and conditions, and then click this little icon here to download. You might have to fill out a trade compliance verification form, which pretty much says that you can't share this software with terrorists, uh, narcotic traffickers, uh, or I don't know. Don't do anything nuclear with this, or, no, I don't know. Once the download is complete, we're going to go to our Downloads folder. We're going to double-click the DMG to unmount it. And we're going to double-click the VMware Fusion app to launch the installer. When VMware Fusion asks for a license key, Click I want to license VMware Fusion for personal use and click continue. Next, we're going to install Windows 11. If you don't already have a copy of Windows downloaded, click get Windows from Microsoft and then continue. Once Windows is done downloading, we can click continue. Under specify the boot firmware, we can choose UEFI and then click continue. Choose a password and click continue. We're going to create a new virtual disk, which will be 64 gigabytes, and then click continue. So now we have our virtual machine up and running, but we need to install Windows. To do that, we have to press any key on the keyboard when Windows tells us to. So if I restart the virtual machine, You'll see it says press any key to boot from CD or DVD. If I don't press any key, it'll time out and take me to this screen. If that happens, I can just go to virtual machine up in my menu bar and I can click restart and I can try again. So I'm going to click restart and then when it says to press any key, I'm going to press any key. You'll only have to do this the first time you ever set up Windows. So the next step is to just go through the Windows setup. So the first message we'll see in the setup is activate Windows. We can click I don't have a product key. I'm going to select Windows 11 Pro and click Next.
and then we're going to click install windows only choose our virtual drive and then click next all right so far so good all right next we're going to name our device How would I like to set up this device for personal use? Unlock my Microsoft experience. Ugh. No, what the heck? Free trial? No decline did it just try to sell me PC game pass man I hate Windows all right so once Windows is done installing we can put in our pin and log into our Windows all right so now we're running Windows on Mac with a virtual machine so I can go to the top corner and make it full screen and the first thing I like to do is go to the Windows settings I'm gonna to go to system and display and I'm going to change my display resolution to make it widescreen. Next I'm going to go to personalization and I'm going to choose a wallpaper. So next I want to check out the hardware of my virtual machine. That includes processing cores and memory. So I'm going to click the Windows icon here and I'm going to shut down the virtual machine. Once your virtual machine is shut down you can go up to the menu bar, click virtual machine and then settings. The first thing I'm going to do is go to processors and memory, and I recommend using four processor cores. If your Mac only has eight gigabytes of RAM, I recommend using the recommended 4096 megabytes, which is four gigabytes. If you have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM on your Mac, I recommend bumping this up to eight gigabytes. So that's 8,192 megabytes. I'm going to hit enter and then go back to show all and let's go to display. Make sure Accelerate 3D Graphics is checked. And it says 3D acceleration requires updating VMware tools in this virtual machine. So we're gonna do that by launching the VM again. I'm gonna press Control Command to get my mouse back, go up to the top menu bar, click Virtual Machine, and then click Install VMware Tools. I'm gonna click this pop-up and I'm going to click run setup.exe. We can leave it on typical and click next and then install. So I've restarted my virtual machine, but it looks like it keeps switching the display resolution automatically. So I'm going to go to settings real quick and I'm going to go to system display. So yeah, it automatically switched it to 4K, uh, which is not going to be great for gaming. So what we're going to do is turn off custom scaling and sign out. Then I'm going to press Control Command to get my mouse back in Mac OS. I'm going to go up to the menu bar, click Virtual Machine, and click Settings. I'm going to go to Display, and I'm going to uncheck Use Full Resolution for Retina Display. All right, now we're ready to game. So I'm going to go to my web browser and I'm going to download Steam. Once Steam is downloaded, I'm going to open the installer and install Steam to my program files. So once I'm logged into my Steam, I can start downloading some games. A couple things to note before we download. Unlike Parallels, which allows you to use a controller with Bluetooth, VMware requires you to use a controller that is wired. So I have my DualSense controller with a USB-C cable. I can simply plug it in and VMware will give me a pop-up asking which device I want to use it with, Mac or PC. Choose PC and your controller will be ready to go. Also, you don't have to use the virtual machine storage to store your games. I recommend using an external drive using the XFAT format. Plug in the drive, and if it doesn't automatically ask you which device you want to use it with, go to VMware's menu bar, select Virtual Machine, USB, and select your drive. 
Then you just need to open Steam, go to Settings, Storage, and add the drive to Steam. Now when I click Download on a game, I can select my external drive as the download location. So let's download a game. I'm going to quickly download the EA app so I can install Need for Speed Most Wanted. Let's see how it runs. So I don't have FPS up on the screen, but it definitely feels like I'm getting close to 60 frames per second. When running games through a virtual machine, I recommend sticking to 1080p to avoid crashes. But this is pretty solid, and it's definitely the best way to run Need for Speed Most Wanted on Mac. So that's VMware Fusion on Mac. Let me know in the comments what games you're excited to play with it. And make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.